Hey everyone, welcome to Lost in Blindness Part 2. Um, I'm going to actually try to finish the game in this part. This game is not very long. I've played through it, I went and listened to some other content that uh, other people have played through, just or that have made based on playing this game, just because I was trying to figure out some stuff. Uh, so I'm going to try to play the rest of this. Um, definitely my views on some things have changed, as we'll get into. And, um, well, we are having a very interesting conversation on YouTube in the comments section about different female characters. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting conversation that's going on and on and on and on and on. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and run the game here. Find my device. Uh... Optimize for blind, lost in blindness.txt app. Press right to switch. Alright, so I'm gonna run the game here. Audacity, track view table, track and row. I'll continue <clears throat> from chapter five. Is lost in six. blindness is a game adapted to the visually impaired. Right, we know. For full user experience, Audacity. Audacity. use headphones lost, to hear sounds coming from the left, right, the right, and all around you. Okay. Main menu. Continue streamer mode. Off chapters. Select the chapter you want to play. So chapter one, an old friend. These chapters are numbered. Press backspace to go back. Er, <laughs> the, 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 the chapters are numbered. Obviously, they're numbered. Um, they're numbered and they're they have titles. There are 19 chapters, 18 gameplay chapters, and then one chapter where you make press backspace. Choices. Chapter two, chapter three, chapter chapter five. Indiana, Alex. Chapter six. Move your feet. Chap Chapter four. Manhunt. All right, I think. Chapter five. Indiana, Alex. This is where I left off. Press and hold backspace to skip the introduction for each chapter. Ah. Uh, <sighs> they didn't see me fall. I thought I was done for. Oh, All right, so uh, held down backspace. Here I am. Now, what I figured out is that you have to walk, um, you have to walk south. So if I turn, right up there, and I start walking okay. forward. Okay, looks like I'm getting there. So we're walking out here into the water, in the environment. And I'm going to sidestep. The right, I think, and then forward. Oh, let's try going to the left and then forward. So, uh, I really don't like this this navigation system. It's very confusing. Just gonna point that out here. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. Do I have to keep... Yeah, let's turn so I'm walking south again. So I'm just holding W. Oops. That is clearly not the right way to go. You'll have to bear with me, you guys. <clears throat> I am not very good at this navigation stuff. Um, I will say, too, this game is quite short. I was actually quite shocked at how short this game actually is. But it's a decent game. I mean, I think... I really do. It's a decent concept. There's, um, lots of good stuff to say about it. If I can... Come on. Here we go. So I'm walking left here. Actually, let me turn to face that sound. 
Oops, sidestep. What's that sound? Just keep keep going here. Oh, coming. Over here. Yeah, and um, let's just say that uh, I do not find this girl sexy anymore at all. Um, I do not. <laughs> I thought it was them. What's that sound? Uh, I don't know, but I think I found the entrance. There's this huge stone door. With some strange rectangular spirals on it? Yeah, that's it. We found it. Uh, but wait, I'll really try to open it. Huh? It's jammed. Oh no. The noise, is it coming from the door? Uh, yeah. Why? It can't be a coincidence. It has to be a riddle or something. What kind of riddle? The kind of tests you see in the movies. Okay, Indiana. You have an idea? Maybe we should try and reproduce the rhythm. You might want to try it with your beacon. Oh yeah, nice one. Press shift to activate the beacon. Like a radar, the beacon detects where you are according to its position. The closer you get to it, the more spaced out the beacon beeps are. However, the closer you get to it, the more frantic the beeps are. Press shift to retrieve the beacon. All right, so I'm gonna hold, or I am gonna press shift. It's making the beeping noise. I'm gonna turn towards the door and walk forward. I'm still too close. Now, this is a little tricky. You have to back up and move to the left. I'm still too close. Wait a minute, how do I? Oh, look! The door! <laughs> it's opening! Always trust Indiana. <laughs> Don't be silly. Follow me. So, I had to back up, <clears throat> and then it worked. Press enter to go to the next level. So let's continue. <laughs> Fuck. It's locked now. Laura? Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. Locked in. And it's pitch black. Hey, everything is fine. I'm gonna find a way, okay? Stay here, keep an eye on my stuff, and rest a bit. And remember to breathe. Okay. Tell me if you find anything. I'll go check if there's another door. Alright, <clears throat> so this is an expiration scene. Um, I'm gonna turn here so that I'm facing north. Walk forward. Huh, what's that? Laura? Did you find anything? Yeah, there's a door here. <clears throat> It's closed. There's this big lock, but no key. We'll see if we find one later. <clears throat> right, so there's that. Side step to the right here. Sounds like some falling rocks or something. I'm just walking to my right here. And then forward. So the problem I have with this navigation system... Okay, what's this? It looks like a door, but I can't find a handle. Alex, anything new? Alright, so you can respond negatively or positively. Uh, let's hit enter. Well, actually, I already did that before. Let's hit backspace. So if you hit enter, he tells her that he finds this. If not... No, my mistake. There's nothing here. I'm gonna find us a way to get out of here. You can't see? Yeah, you're lame. You're also, uh, well... We'll get to that in a little okay. bit. Okay. This melody. What is it? It's coming from another room. Come. I can't see. I won't be able to find you. Don't move. Just turn on the beacon. I'll go to you instead. So, alright, so I just backed up and I'm... 
I got the scene with the, um, uh, with the music. Now, I'm gonna walk towards the beacon. Alex? I'm here. Keep the beacon with you. This way I can find you if you get lost. Thank you. Come on, follow me. We're gonna go to the other room. So now I'm gonna turn towards the music <clears throat> with the left and right arrow keys. And we're gonna walk forward. Oop, wait a minute. Yeah, here we go. What was that? Rats, I guess. Bloody lab rats. <laughs> I told you. That's what we are. For now, let's see what this melody has to tell us. Turn to face it. Did you just do that? I guess. I just walked on it. Huh. I feel like it's all about the slabs. They activate when they're walked on. Let me try something out. I think the melody we're hearing is made up of all these notes. Now... This puzzle is a little strange. Um, you have to arrange the tones in some sort of order. I don't know how you do it. I just walk around here. So if you lock left and right. I just walk back and forth until I get it. But there's, there's probably a way to do it. There's some kind of pattern, I just don't know what it is off the top of my head. <clears throat> I may have to skip this chapter. I may have to skip a couple of these. Um, come on. So, you can't walk backward or forward, just left and right. And you also can't turn. So, you have to hit A and D. Thanks. Some light, finally. Now I can help you if you need me. Splendid. Take the lead. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to hit enter. <clears throat> oh, shit. I'm so sick of this goddamn temple. You want to take a break? Yeah. My legs have turned to jelly by now. Sit down. Here, have some water. Thanks. Uh, hey. I... I'm so sorry for bringing you into all this. Don't be. How could you have known? I know, but it's still my fault if you're trapped in here. Hey, whatever happens, what we're doing here, it's important. So don't beat yourself up, okay? It's far more important than you can imagine. For me, at least. Can you smell that? Ugh, makes me sick. What is it? Oh, I'm going to... Shh! Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Stop. What is it? Can you hear that? Can I hear what? Can't you hear something breathing? I can. Uh, I think I saw something pass by over there. What was it? I think it had two red eyes. <gasps> there! 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 I saw it again. We are screwed. What is that thing? Shh! Alex! Are you okay? What was that? Did you see it? I did. It looks like a mix between a dog and some kind of giant lizard. But it didn't see me, right? It must be blind or something. In that case, we better be quiet. Okay, I'll go first. Very slowly. And I'll tell you when to join me. Alright, so... Come. This is a stealth mission. <clears throat> There's this monster... Over here. And, um... The girl's right there. I must admit. I'm right here, Alex. Or, I must say, she is not the sexy girl. She is just a girl. Uh, you will find out why Come. very shortly. But, uh, yeah, my my previous assessment was very, very wrong. <clears throat> and, of course, as you may know, I'm... I'm right here, Alex. I'm joking. Shut up, you're interrupting my very important speech. Um, this is all joking. In real life, you should obviously right here, treat people 
with uh, <laughs> respect, and that's how all relationships should be built. Now, let's actually keep going here. Hold on. Okay. So, this, um... I'm right here, Alex. This scene, you have to follow her, but you have to move very slowly. Come. I'm here. Okay. I'm right here, Alex. Over here. Found you. Alright, let's see. Where'd she go? Come on. I'm right here, Alex. Over here. I'm here. Holy shit! Ah! Oh no! No! Hey! No! You nasty beast! You can hear that beacon, can't you? So. Go uh, fetch the backpack! Fuck! It's coming back! I need to turn off the beacon. So we'll turn to face the beacon. Oh, it's right behind me. I found the backpack. Ugh. Fuck, it's coming back. I need to turn off the beacon. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. The, the monster got me. So I think I need to walk forward, grab the backpack, and, and then keep moving. I found the backpack. I need to find a way out. I think I should follow this draft. Ugh. Oh, crap. Fuck! It's coming back! I need to turn off the beacon. <clears throat> so... Okay. I found the backpack. I need to find a way out. I think I should follow this draft. Okay. So I'm very quiet. Yeah, you walk away from me. Alright, let's go. Oh god. We definitely need to go. <gasps> run! 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 Alright, I'm gonna hit enter. During an action phase, use the A and D keys to move left or right. Alright, this is an action scene where you're dodging stuff. So, I'm gonna move to my right with D. Okay. Doing pretty good. To move to the left. Alright, we're good. That's on my right. Move to the left. Move to the left again, just to make sure. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Yep. So you're, you're dodging obstacles in your path. Whoa, let's move to the right. That was too close. It's on my left side, so we're good. Move to the left. There's two. No! Oh. Ah. Okay, I didn't quite do that right. Let's try that again. So I'm going to the right. So that last part is, is a little, little bit tricky because there's like multiple things to dodge. Let's go to the right. There we go. I usually don't have too much trouble with this. Let's go to the left. Left. 
and to the right. I'm not really sure what you're dodging, but presumably there's like traps or something. Not really sure. There are a few things in this game that don't make sense, um, particularly the story, at least later. But we'll get to those when we get there. There we go. Walk right between those. Walk to the right. Okay, it's on my left, so we're good. Over there! Shoot it! What's that? Uh, die! Come on, hurry, hurry! Come on! Let's hope this door holds. Fire? There's something cooking. Alright, so here we are in a new area. Presumably there were people <coughs> trying to shoot me and they got eaten by the monster. Let's walk forward. Or walks to the right. And then forward. There's a fire over here. Ow! What is this? A tent? I must be in a camp. And let's... I think there's a door. Yeah, if you listen... very closely... Yep, you can hear a creak. That's a door, I think. Let's walk towards it. Turn towards it. There we go. Here we go. Open up. It's no use. I'm worn out. I've got to eat something. So I'm going to turn around. Walk back towards the fire. Well, no, maybe. Ooh. <sighs> so, what's on the menu? Ah. Mm. Mm. Much better. I can keep the knife. I might need it later. <sighs> I'm thirsty. Where's the backpack? So, I don't want the beacon to go nuts this time. What is this? A flask? What's that smell? Why does she even have this in her backpack? Oh, you'll find out. What is this stone? The engraving is... Mayan. Ugh. There's a woman giving birth. That shape. It looks like a sacrifice made in honor of Apuch, the god of death. They're taking out a living man's heart with a blade. What? This is so weird. I think... Ah, Pooch is begging the man to eat the heart. The man kills him. He just killed death itself. It seems like a prophecy about immortality. What is Laura doing with this? Oh, I'm so sleepy. But I can't fall asleep here. I can't. Except you just did. Uh, and you'll Press find enter out, to go to the next level. You'll find out what a lot of that stuff is in due time. Um, also, I do find it a little unrealistic, and we'll get more of this, but he can identify like tablets with hieroglyphs and markings on them, even though he's blind. It's like, how do you do that? 
Because I think about doing things like that and it'd just be like, I touch it and it's just a bunch of lines or just weird things. So that doesn't make sense, but this is a game. Um, let's continue. Okay. This is very strange. Um, I think you have to walk around here. Turn. This is <laughs> turn. Walk. Yeah, there's like all kinds of places to to e examine. There's someone knocking on a door. I don't quite get what this is. I think it's some kind of dream. It's a, it's a baby. No idea what that's supposed to be. Some music, let's turn towards that. So, I don't know if this is timed or if you have to just examine all this stuff. Um, this part of the game is a little confusing. I'm just turning to face things and trying to walk. Okay, that's not creepy. Also sounds like a key somewhere. Is that a light? <coughs> Someone coughing. Still got that person pounding on, on a door. Yeah, this is very confusing. Um... walk towards this thing here. Let's go towards the pounding on the door. <sighs> <sighs> Stop. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, yeah. You're nice, huh? <laughs> you just took me out of the worst nightmare I've ever had. What's your name? What if I call you... Nietzsche? You like it? <laughs> of course. You're hungry, aren't you? Where are you going? Wait up! Hey, slow down, Nitch! Oh, you found a way out. Good dog. Yeah, good boy. Go ahead, I'll be right behind you. It's so narrow. Whew. Okay, just a few more steps. Finally. Oof, my back. <laughs> you like being petted, huh? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh no, the door is closed. During a lock picking phase, use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move towards the clicking sound in order to lift the latch. So that's basically what you have to do to pick locks. Now... During a lock picking phase, uh, use the, the A and time. D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move so, towards the clicking sound um, in order to um, lift the latch. Pressing and holding D. Now what you have to do is you sometimes have to hit A and D because if you go too far to the left or right, you have to go back. You keep doing it until you pick the lock. Um, problem with this story, while I'm doing this and it's taking time, um... The, this is where it doesn't really make too much sense. So he was asleep. Apparently that was some kind of nightmare. And then he woke up. To, some dog woke him up. Yeah, I'm not sure where the dog came from. So 
the story is starting not to make as much sense. Uh, but we'll go with it. I'll try tapping the keys instead of holding them. This particular... This part of the game is a little confusing. So what you're supposed to do... During a lockpicking phase, use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move towards the clicking sound in order to lift the latch. That's what I'm doing. All right, so you heard that that was the latch lifting. And I do this again. So I guess you have to tap the key. There we go. So I'm tapping D to move to the right. So if you hear lots of keyboard noises, I apologize. Come on, Nietzsche. Follow me. This wall has something engraved on it. Let's see what I can decipher. It looks like some kind of fresco. Ha! This is where it starts. What do we have here? There are men fighting with spears. Those who surrender are brought into some kind of temple. They form a circle around the scaffold. One of them has its head cut off. His head is passed around so the rest can drink from it? What are these two stones? There's a symbol on each one. On the first one, there's some kind of god drinking. And on the other, there's a man burning a village with children in it. I think I have to choose? What do you think, Nietzsche? So I should press the stone with the god on it? Alright, so this is a puzzle. You have to make choices. Um, it doesn't matter what you choose because it will be done automatically for you if you don't get it right. But I think the correct answers are enter for yes. Yeah, it makes sense. Some sort of human sacrifice as an offering to the gods. It was fairly common at that time. Well, I guess I did something right. What's next? Now it's another kind of right with children. A man stands with a knife in his hand. I think it's the one on Laura's tablet. He's cutting the children's arms and their blood is spilling into two bowls with inscriptions on them. It's glyphs, symbolizing a color. So it's all about the color of their blood. The children with red blood are... Outcasts? And... Oh, more slabs are coming out. Here, it's a skull. And on the other, there's a cross at the bottom right and a triangle at the center. Uh, should I press the stone with the skull on it? All right, now I think this one, the correct answer is no, because I, I played through this yesterday. Uh, if I hit backspace... No, that could be it, but I don't know. Maybe that sort of map is the real answer. Yeah, so enter for yes. I guess the triangle stands for a temple, and the cross is for the place they went to. Given that we're about a thousand miles southeast from Chichen Itza, some might have survived and migrated here. Another sacrificial rite, but it's not a beheading this time. They rip the heart out of a man's chest and feed it to another man who's bedridden and coughing a lot. The man rises up and goes out to kill... A pooch? What I gather from the fresco and the tablet is that the Mayans defied death a number of times. Oh, here are the engraved stones. There's a man coming from the sky, and right here, there are several skulls crossed out. So, was this man considered a prophet because he healed so well? Uh, I'm gonna hit no, so backspace. It makes no sense. Healing so well wouldn't make him a prophet. Well, that leaves me with the crossed out skulls. Could that be it? So, enter. I think that this new sacrifice made this man immortal. And something tells me he wasn't the only one. What do we have here? Sacrifices are forbidden. And so is procreation. Because... I can't decipher this glyph. I hope the two stones can help me understand. The first one shows hearts that are ripped out. And the second one shows a group of people. I think this might represent the common good as opposed to every man for himself. Did they all just lose it and search for a way to become immortal? Yeah, I'm gonna hit enter. I guess most people would do so if they were given the opportunity. <laughs> Even today. 
So, what do we have here? There's a war between two Mayan leaders with a crossed-out skull above them. The loser is captured by the other. Then there's a sacrificial rite with the loser. Wait, he's supposed to be immortal, right? What, he died? How? I don't get it. They manage to be immortal, but they still find ways to kill one another? Or maybe they can't die of sickness or old age, but they can still be killed by someone. Now, the first one pictures a leader above several villages. Damn. And on the second one, it's the Chupacabra. Does it mean that the leader became so powerful, he put all the Mayans under his authority? I'm gonna hit backspace. I don't know. Did he turn into... Yes, so enter. I think he is the Chupacabra. It sounds unbelievable, but at this point, it wouldn't be crazier than the rest. All right. Next. Go fetch what just fell. Good dog, Nietzsche. You're a good dog. That's right. How can such a cute little thing like you be with such douchebags? Hey, what did you bring me? Is that a key? It looks like it's missing parts. Now, what can I do with it? All right. How about we get out of here? Where are you taking me? Whoa, 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 Nietzsche. Stop! I'm fine. Calm down. That was a close one. Sorry I yelled at you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Do you know where we should go? Okay. I trust you on this one. Let's go. I'm right behind you. So, if you hadn't gotten that puzzle right... It, it goes through a sequence where you go through all the questions again and you're given the right answers and it just does it automatically. Uh, I got it right though because I remembered the correct choices from yesterday. So um, Now what you have to do, you have to follow this dog. So I walk forward. Oop, let's go to the right. Actually turn towards him. And then move forward. I'm here. Good job, Nietzsche. Um, this is very much like a blind legend, where you're following um, the uh, girl. All right, so turn again. I'm here. You want to keep going? All right, let's turn here. Turn again. Walk forward. I'm here. We make a pretty good team, don't we? Yeah, good job. Let's keep going. All right. Damn. I hope there's another path to come back. Again? Go fetch. So, what did you bring me? Another piece of the key. Okay, can you help me find a way out now? Wait up! So here we go again, same thing. This is uh, kind of tedious after a while, but we'll go with it. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, 
What is it? Did you see something? There's a ditch, right? I see. I don't really have a choice, do I? Be careful, Nietzsche. Help me! Well, looks like you saved me. I promise you, if we get through this, you're coming home with me. <laughs> Seems like you're into that. All right. We have a deal. One last room. You ready? We have a key to put together. Can you help me get there? All right, let's hit enter. Continue. What's happened? Nietzsche, where are you? Was, is, is the ground moving? What is this? The walls are closing in on me. I need to follow Nietzsche, like now. During an action phase, use the A and D keys to move left or right. Alright, so we're gonna move to the left. So your goal is to keep the dog in the center. And then we go to the right. So I'm pretty sure if you don't follow him, you're gonna die. Move to the left. There we go. Up right there. So it's like a, I guess there's a rock slide or something. Not really sure what's going on here. They're slowing down. I thought I was done for. I'd be dead if it wasn't for you. Oh, cool. There's another key piece over there. Go fetch. Thanks, little guy. You are really stealing my heart, Nietzsche. It has to be the last piece of the key. What now? Where are you going, Nietzsche? Wait up! Nietzsche, stop! What's he up to? There's something coming! <gasps> you bloody idiot! Shit! What the hell was he doing here anyway? Oh, because you couldn't look up just to see what it was before oh, shooting him? I didn't feel like dying. What's wrong with that? You jackass. Okay. Damn it. Come. I need a place Let's to hide out. Let's go see where he was coming from. Yeah. Alpha 2 3 to leader. We found a dead dog close to the campment, and there's a passage nearby. You want us to investigate? Yeah, the chick is tied up anyway, so go check it out. If it's the blind guy, shoot him dead, you hear me? Copy that, Leader. We're on the move. Oh, so now you're lying to Leader 2? Go in front. <sighs> I don't want to take a bullet just because you freaked out. Come on, get over it! And you better not report it to anyone. No, I'm a grave. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. As if you didn't freak out. Yeah, I did. But at least I'm not here shooting any damn thing that moves. Yeah? Well, at least I'm not shooting blanks like you, asshole. With your mom, it's never been an issue. Ooh. Nietzsche. Shit. No. Tiago. And now Nietzsche. Motherfuckers. I hope the Chupacabra gets you all. I have to find Laura before they come back. So this is just a scene. Alex! Shh. Keep your voice down. Oh, uh, help me with these chains, would you? Alright, this is a lockpicking scene, so I'm hit D. It's a little tedious here. Just tapping A and D, trying to get it unlocked here. Come on.
Come on. This is being annoying right now. I'm trying to pick the lock here. There we go. Holding, or I'm tapping D. Go to the right. Um. something I'm doing wrong. Let's try going more to the left. Okay. Then to the right. Ah. Come on. Come on. Why is it not working? Go to the right and to the left. Come on. There we go. I think you have to be like right on it. It's a little tricky. Like if I. There we go. <sighs> Thank you. You can't begin to imagine how glad I am to see you. Yeah, me too. I wasn't sure you made it. The thing with the two red eyes. It went after me before I turned back. I kept running and I fell into this trap. Then they brought me here. Why didn't they kill you like Tiago? They told me they were looking for you because you killed two of their guys. But I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I guess they wanted to use me as leverage to lure you in. Okay, we've got to move before they come back. Yeah, also, I heard them talking about a load of explosives. Damn it! All the more reason to bounce. Quick! Yeah, come, follow me. Let's go back to where I first entered the area. Hey, uh, about those gunshots earlier. What happened? There was this dog I found after we got separated. <laughs> he saved my life, but he got shot on our way back. Aw, I'm so sorry to hear that. <sighs> Poor Nietzsche. And what did you do exactly? First, let's get out of here. Okay. Do you want me to carry the backpack? No, it's fine. You sure? With the beacon, the bottle, and a few other things in there. It's heavy. A few other things, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Where's the girl? Oh, shit. She escaped. She must Damn have it. gone this They're way. Right behind us. Come on. Is there any light? Uh, just a flashlight. Turn it off. Quick. Okay. Keep quiet and come with me. <laughs> you think that's smart, huh? Running away with no idea where you're going. Go. Okay, this is a little tricky. This is a scene where you have to... You have to, um... Avoid these guy, these guards, and you have to leave this room. So what I'm gonna do, if I can't do this, I'll just have to skip it. But okay, the door is right in front of me. Let's walk to the left. Walking very slowly. Oh shit. I heard something. Walk forward. Okay. Almost there. Oh shit. Left. I think I just saw something. Was it you? Alright. 
finally lost him. Okay, go. I'll close the door behind us. So I just had to turn and then walk Press to the Press enter door. to go to the next level. All right, so I got through that on my first first try. That wasn't too bad. Let's continue. <sighs> Thanks for getting me out of there. Yeah. I don't think it's the door I took when I got here. You never came here? I don't think so. There's only a staircase in front of us. It's lit up. You want to check it out? Let's go. What's happening, Alex? It feels like... <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Mm. Happy? How could I possibly be happy? I almost died a thousand times since I came to Brazil. I'm stuck in this temple with some guys wanting me dead. And you want to know what's worse? I don't even know what's going on in this freaking temple. I don't get it either. I'm so sorry that I... Please, stop. Just stop messing with me, okay? Please, just stop. What? What did I do? Really? You don't know? No, I don't... The stone tablet in your backpack. Uh, yeah, I found it. Uh, when we got separated near the car. Uh, before we tried to open the temple's door, I took another path and stumbled across it. And you didn't think I should know about it? Of course I did, but... Then we found the temple, and it all happened so fast. I got caught up in the moment. Then this beast attacked us, and... Yeah, sure, whatever. So you managed to find a tablet in pristine condition just outside waiting for you? Yeah, I mean, no. It was <laughs> hidden in some kind of shelter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not lying. So, did you try decrypting it? Mm, let's answer... Yes. Yeah, I tried. Oh, okay. Uh, can you tell me what it said then? Uh, I'll, yeah, so I'll say yeah. Yeah, see, this is when, realistically, you should start wondering about her. She's acting very strangely. Yeah. It's about a sacrificial rite. They were taking a man's heart right out of his chest to become immortal. Really? Yeah. Why do you look so interested? No. I mean, it's just some delirious myth, if you ask me. Yeah. We're up the stairs now. Okay. Can you see anything? Uh, there's a door. It's half open. Be careful. No one here. But... Hold on, move back. I think we're back at the entrance of the temple. You sure? Yeah. You said there was a huge lock, right? Yeah, on the wooden door. Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. <sighs> it's locked. I have the keys. You do? In the backpack. It's three pieces you have to put together. Where on earth did you find these? I explored a bit when I was with Nietzsche, and I found them in a room full of trials, okay? Anyway, here. Go on, open it. <gasps> this is... What? What is it? Some kind of torture chamber. Oh, I thought we were in danger. No, we're not, but it's creepy as hell. Well, we're about to find out what's in store for us. Tell me if you find something on your side. I'll start looking myself. Sure. Whatever. Right, here we are. Another area to explore. Let's go to the right here. Back up. Looks like some metal. Let's go to the left. Backing up here. Let's go forward. Turn towards her. Supposed to find, I think, some cells here, but this is what's confusing. This area is very confusing. It's also not very big. Let's try. Let's go forward. I 
think the trick is to listen for the metal. So it's a Yeah, I'm not really sure. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Several bowls of different sizes on the ground. Human hair. I read somewhere that they used hair to stitch wounds. Knives made out of elder. Probably the ones represented on the tablet and on the fresco. You found anything interesting? Nothing but medical equipment. You? No, nothing. What is this pot? Injection hot disease? Cold disease. Laura? There are bones here. Human bones? Yeah, several skulls. I think I know where we are. In a doctor's room? More of an experiment and sacrifice room. Oh, Lord. Given the room we're in, there must be other things we can find. Like what? I don't know, notes from the experiments, stuff like that. Hey, I think you're right. There are three cells here. Are they open? No, they're closed. Hold on, let me try to pick the locks. Where are they? Right here. Alright, so let's see where is she at. Right here. Alright, let's walk towards her. During a lock picking phase, use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move towards the clicking sound in order to lift the latch. Come on. these lock picking sequences take forever come on come on there we go during a lock picking phase Excuse use me. the A and D keys to point your tool to the left there you go. I see you still got it. Let me know if you find anything in there. I'll open the other two. Okay. The problem is... Trying to find the other two. Ah, okay. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just tapping A and D trying to center this. Okay. Let me try to. Yeah, okay, so if, if you leave it in the center and pause, that seems to do the trick. One to go. Did you find anything? Nothing but bones. The second door is open. I'll get the last one. Okay. Yep, she's just like, okay, you do that. Wait. Where'd you go? I'm like backing up trying to find the door.
I'm restore. <sighs> I, I can hear what sounds like a door. I just can't figure out where it's at. Apparently you can only hear it when you're moving, so I'm just like backing up, moving to, to the left and right. This is the one thing I don't like about this game. I've said it before. Come on. be helpful if you'd like tell me where it's at. Wait. I don't think it's right in front of me. Oh no, it's behind me? Let's, let's walk backwards with the S key. Come on. Don't be irritating. Should not be this difficult. Wait. Where's the door? There we go. Okay, so I just had to move around During a lock until I hit it. Phase. Use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Okay. Move towards the clicking sound yeah, I know. in order to lift the latch. I know, I know. Shut up. Alright, I'm just gonna... There we go. Yeah, so to do this well, you have to sit on the... Laura, I got it. Laura? Hey, how about an answer? Huh? Oh. Sorry about that. You find anything? I found a tablet, but I can't understand a thing. Let me see. It's some kind of diagram about how to extract the membrane around the heart of a man. The pericardium? If you extract it with a knife made of elder, and then eat it, it can cure any disease. And you think it's true? Oh, I know it's true. Honestly, the tablet that's in your backpack talks about immortality, too. And I haven't told you, but I also found a fresco that explains a lot. So I think it's real enough. How amazing would that be? Can you imagine? We could save thousands of lives, including sick children and people with cancer. Yeah, it would be amazing to cure any disease, don't get me wrong. But you still need to kill someone to get a pericardium. <sighs> yeah, I know. Let me check the last cell to see if I find anything. And maybe you can try to find another way out? Okay. Tell me if you find anything. Uh, sure thing, Alex. Yeah, sure you will. Bitch. Oh, I shouldn't say that yet. I'm giving it away. Alright, well, let's... Oops. Walking backwards here. To my left. Backwards. I think the sliding sound means I'm hitting walls, but I'm not sure. Let's go over here. Go to the left. Yeah, there we go. Back up a little bit. Here. I found a way out. I'm coming, don't move. Too bad I didn't find anything else, huh? It's fine. Are you sure you're okay? Oh yeah, never better. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. Nothing suspicious about that. Press enter to go. We're in this huge cemetery now. It's the necropolis. Do you mind if I take a quick break to drink something? Sure. 
Here, have some. It will make you feel so much better. Thanks. Mmm. Oh, the water tastes really oh, bad. Really? Uh, but you had some anyway, right? Yeah. What's with the long face? You know, Alex, even if I didn't keep in touch with you, our love story six years ago, I've never forgotten it. She reminds me every day that... What do you mean? What are you talking about? I hope you'll understand. <laughs> it's not against you. It's for her. She's only five. <laughs> she doesn't deserve what's happening to her. What? But, Laura... Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Oh. What the... Ugh. Oh. So sorry, Alex. I... I feel... Ugh. I'm too... So, what's the origin for you to get there without knowing where you go? We found a temple in the forest. It might be Maya. Yeah. Daddy! Almost six. <laughs> Alex! I'm so glad you're here. Since we came back from the Caribbean, I had personal stuff to deal with. You're an old friend of Laura's, right? Oh, 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 oh shit! No! He's only five. <laughs> Alex! I'm here! It's far more important than you can imagine. Right, finally! Now I can help you if you need me. I found a tablet, but I can't understand. What is this? Thing. A flask? It's not against you. Oh, what's that it's smell? Her. Why does she even have this in her back? The man kills him. He just killed death itself. I promise you. If we get through this, you're coming home with me. I don't get it either. I'm so sorry that I... How amazing would that be? Can you imagine? We could save thousands of lives, including sick children and people with cancer. And you think it's true? <coughs> Damn. Laura, I get it now. I'm begging you. Answer me. God damn it. I have to find her. Now. Okay, so... There's a draft here. Yeah, uh, so here's the thing that doesn't make sense. She drugged him. And then left him? So, what, she didn't want to kill him? She just wanted to stop him from... from doing what she's gonna do? Yeah, uh, it doesn't quite make sense. Also, why am I outside again? But let's turn towards this draft. And keep going here. Am I going the wrong way? No. And here's the sound from the outside of the temple. This noise again? It's the one I heard when I entered the temple. Or maybe I'm inside the temple and I'm trying to leave. I'm not sure which. Hard to say. I should try the same thing with my beacon. So I'm gonna hit shift. Walk away from the door. Let's try backing up. Moving to the right. Now I'm backing up. So I turn the beacon on.
right now I can't get this to work. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, I can't make this work now. I had no problem with it earlier. Let's try going to the right. There we go. So yeah, it has to be in rhythm with the door. That, that's the tricky part. So I'm gonna follow Laura? this. Here's the music again. And yes, she was his girlfriend. Though by the sounds of it, a very manipulative and toxic girlfriend. Um, that's not good. Yeah, she's a bitch. So, what I'm supposed to do now is follow the draft again. The closer I get, the stronger the wind blows. So I think he's like walking outside the temple. I'm not really sure what's going on here. And if she really cared about me, she wouldn't just leave. Yeah, no, she's got issues. Alright. The riddle with the slabs again? Alright, so I'm gonna walk left and right here. I should walk on the right notes. On the notes here. Yeah. Just gonna walk back and forth. Now what happens? Well, you'll we'll find out. If I can do this again properly. I'm just walking back and forth, left and right. Uh, I hate this puzzle. Just walking left and right until I get it. Got him. And you get hit in the head and captured by the enemy. Press enter to go to the next level. Let's continue. This game is almost over. Tie him up and search him. Okay, boss. Ah. Ah. Hello, you. What do you want How from me? How about you shut the fuck up first? I'm asking the questions from now on. Got it? So you can hit yes or no. I'll hit backspace. You little shit. Do that again, and I'll make sure it's the last fucking thing you ever do. Am I funny to you? No, you're not. Go and stand guard. Yes, boss. What are two shitbirds like you doing here? Are you part of the same organization as the other douche I killed out there? All hit, yes. Yeah, we were exploring the forest. That's all we were doing, and we ran into you, and that's it. I just want to leave and forget all about this. You know too much, anyway. Where's the girl? You let her loose, didn't you? Well, hit enter. Yeah, but she used me, and then left. So you let her go, and you killed two of my guys, along with their dog. The chupacabra killed your men, and it was actually the two guys right there that shot the dog. And why would these guys shoot one of our dogs, huh? 
Does it even matter if I tell you? I'm asking the questions. What's this chupa braca? It looks like an animal, but it's not as simple as that. Go on. Well, you're gonna think I'm fucking with you. I said go on. Basically, it's a guy that killed so many people, he turned into this beast that eats anything that's in its way. I know it sounds crazy, but the Mayans found a way to become immortal. With sacrifices. You're messing with me now, aren't you? No, hit backspace. No, I promise. It's the truth. You know what the sad thing is? And then I'll hit, uh, I'll hit enter. That you can't properly say chupacabra? You're not so funny now, are you? <laughs> I have no other questions or any reason to let you live. Wait. Wait for what? For you to screw me with another story? You're not getting out alive anyway. And your girlfriend is about to go kaboom with the rest of the temple. But I'm telling you the truth. I don't like wasting my time, so... Please, I'm begging you. There, did you hear that? What was that? The chupacabra. It's coming. You, go on and see what that was. Why me? Hurry, moron. I'm going. We need to leave. You're not going anywhere. Please, listen. It's here! Shit! Untie me, and I'll get you out of here. I can't see! Where are you? Here, hurry. Is there another way out? You hear the water? It's an underground river. It can lead us outside. Okay, stay quiet and follow me. Alright, so... Yeah, me, I wouldn't care if she went kaboom with the temple, because she is a manipulative bitch. Now, um, this particular section is very tricky. I may not be able to do this, so I may have to skip it. But what you have to do is walk towards the water and avoid the monster. Now, to do that... Let's see. Yeah, you walk away from me. Stop. Alright, I'll give this one more shot. Oh crap. Yeah, you go behind me. So you're supposed to like... You're supposed to sneak past this thing. I think I can hear the water very faintly. I'll do this one more time. Alright, so I'm not gonna be able to do this. Um Pause. Resume. Back to main So let's go back to the menu. Main menu. Continue streamer mode. Op chapters. Select the chapter no. you want to play. Chapter 1. Chapter 19. Heart or Reason. Um, basically... Press backspace to go back. Basically, you're supposed to get to the water, and from what I've heard, um, you jump in the water, and the guy goes in after you, and then, uh, he, he, he tries to shoot you, but... Press backspace to go back. Oh, that bitch there shoots him and then here's chapter 19 which is the last chapter of this game um but this is also how you can cheat because the game is designed to let you continue from the next chapter just in case you get stuck playing a chapter um you can always continue to the next chapter so let's play chapter 19 which is the last chapter and uh this is where things get very interesting Wake up! Laura? But... he shot! I shot him! What? I killed him. But why did you- It's over. <sighs> Let me explain. You must wonder where I was for six years. And what I meant by I had some personal stuff to deal with is that I had- A little girl. What? How do you know this? When you poisoned me, I heard her calling me dad, crying and coughing. That's when I figured it out. Figured what out? Everything. Why you brought me here in the first place? Why you had that tablet with you? When Chiago sent me a picture of this tablet, I wasn't sure if I should come here. But then, the doctors told me they'd stop providing medical care for June. 
So, I contacted a private group and they financed the expedition in exchange for the cure I might find here. June? Like our grandmas? It's the first idea that popped into my head when I knew she would come. She's mine then? She is. But you told me time and again that you didn't see yourself with a child, so I thought it'd be better to raise her alone without telling you. I know I couldn't have been a great dad, but if I had known, at least I could have been there. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't regret anything. Up until last summer, I was as happy as I could be. What's wrong with June? She's ill, Alex. Seriously ill. She has very weak muscles... And more and more trouble breathing. She's gonna die then? Not necessarily, no. It could be a miracle if we use what we found here. Laura, when we split up to run from the Chupacabra, I found a fresco that explained how the Mayan civilization came to disappear. <sighs> why are you talking about this? As soon as people knew there was a way to become immortal, they started killing each other. So what? Can't you see? If you ever tell that private group about what you found here... They'll try and make money off of it, and it won't be long before the situation gets out of control. Come on, people are not that stupid. Aren't they? They killed Tiago, and now they're trying to kill us too, just to keep making money, even if this means destroying the very forest they breathe from. So what should I do then? Let my daughter die? Huh? Yeah, so people are that stupid. Um, as I like to say, never underestimate the stupidity of the human race. Never. Now, this is where you make uh, a very I important choice. So this game has two different endings. One ending, which is the good ending, which I'll show you first, is to let your daughter die and save the world. The other one is uh, the opposite. So you save your family at the expense of the rest of the world going crazy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Press enter to answer positively and backspace to answer negatively to the question asked. Right. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to hit enter. I know it's a horrible choice to make. She deserves to live. But I know the decision we're making right now will change the face of the world. Are you serious right now? It's our daughter! And I will hit enter for yes. Yeah, I'm very serious. Look what you did to me in the encampment. If all it takes to be immortal is to kill someone else, can you imagine? It'll be pure chaos. You can't stop me from saving my daughter. Wait. Listen to me before you leave. Think about what kind of world June will grow up in. You can design her future. Will you stop moralizing me? The world is already destroying itself. You said it yourself. I gave birth to her. I won't let her die now. Laura! I know you're scared, but it's your daughter we're talking about. I know. I I just... Shit. The temple. Your choice. Are you coming with me to save her? I am not. So I will hit backspace for now. No. We can't do that. Oh, really? Seriously? Uh... Seriously, so yeah, so now I'm going to uh, hit enter for yes. Yeah, we can't put the world at risk to save one life. Okay, farewell then. Hold on. Alex, if you don't want to save our daughter, that's on you. For God's sake, there's more at stake. You don't know that. I'm off. You'd better go too. You don't want to die. Come back. Let go. Stop. Laura? My stomach. No, no, no. Laura, no. I didn't want it to go down this way. It's going to be okay. I'll, I'll get you out of here. I'm um, cold. I'm covering you now. Everything is going to be fine. She didn't deserve this. June... We have to go, Laura. Laura? Laura. <laughs> okay, that sounds like he's laughing, not crying. June? It's okay. You don't know me, but I'm your dad. Mommy asked me to come by and tell you how much she loves you. She tried so hard to make things better for you. 
You know that, right? But unfortunately, Mommy had an accident. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> June? Sir, please move. What's wrong with her? She's having a heart attack. Three, two, one, clear. We are very pleased to have Mr. Riley as our guest tonight in this show. As a Mayan expert, you made a discovery that could make a big difference. Am I correct? Good evening. Indeed. I was lucky enough to discover a Mayan temple at the heart of the Amazonia, which is a thousand miles from the area we knew about. So what did you find out there? As an expert, I've always wanted to know how such a great civilization came to disappear without us knowing why. And did this discovery help you answer the questions you had on the matter? Unfortunately, it didn't. The temple was mostly destroyed. However, during my exploration, I've crossed paths with a local organization that fights against deforestation. And they saw this temple as a great opportunity to put an end to this nonsense. This discovery makes a big difference. Because now that we know there's a temple at the heart of the forest, it is forbidden to cut down trees in a wide area of the Amazonia. This is what Tiago Galvao and his organization wished for. And they did not fight in vain. You also said that you were assaulted by an armed group around the temple? Some people definitely didn't want us to spread the news. Thanks to this fantastic discovery, the Amazonia will be preserved. Thank you for coming here. And again, thank you for your devotion. Thank you for inviting me. May I add a few more words? Sure, go ahead. I'd like to pay tribute to Laura Miller who lost her life during this expedition. And she was a devoted mother to her little girl, June, who died a few months ago of Verdnig Hoffman disease. And I'd like to educate the audience about this disease. Now that the Amazon forest is to be left untouched, the June for Tree organization announced a massive campaign aiming at replanting trees in the UNESCO protected area. According to its founder, Alex Riley, this campaign shows that the time has come for environmental renewal, and apparently many other actions will be taken throughout the world as well. Thank you for playing Lost in Blindness, developed with passion by the member of Unseen Interactive, Florian Noir, Thomas Pilling and Hugo Villazzolti. As Alex, Blake Farah, as Laura, Rachel May, as a taxi driver, Michael Berry, as a militia leader, Tim Wells, as Thiago, Pedro Daer, in various minor roles, Jessica Ellen Jacobs, Luke Demain, Alt Zavi, and for all the game menus, Brian Michael Connolly. Localization, Diane Clarissou, and Julien Alexandri. Thanks to Loïc Bernaro, Sandra Bernaro, Antoine Allo, Eloi fromanger gonin to our dear playtasters, as well as Magla, Inae, Kira, Massersnaku, Seros, Karal, Farod, Superbrioche, Zampil, Legacy Angel, and all the video games fans who played Lost in Blindness, sharing it with their communities. Also special thanks to the hundred of people who contributed to our crowdfunding, it's you that made this adventure possible. Your participation allows the visual impaired to discover an adventure entirely adapted to them, while it is also a chance for sighted people to enjoy a social and highly unusual experience. So, that's the credits. And, um... I think we can Main all agree. menu. Continue game. Press backspace to go back. I think we can all agree... That Laura is a bitch. Fuck Laura. And not in that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Uh, yeah. Now, um, I'm going to show you Press the other backspace ending. backspace to go back. So, what I will do is pause the recording, get back to the point where you make the choice, and I'll show you how the other ending goes. The ending I call the bad ending. Audacity, audacity, track. So, I will be back in just a minute. Okay, let's continue lost, here. Lost. So I'm going to hit backspace. No. Do you even realize what it implies? Killing someone to save your daughter? Are you serious right now? It's our daughter! Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let me hit backspace. Damn, I don't know. There has to be another solution. No! I've put all my savings into experimental treatments that didn't work! the only chance I have left to save her. And I will save her, whether you like it or not. Wait, 
Listen to me before you leave. Think about what kind of world June will grow up in. You can design her future. Will you stop moralizing me? The world is already destroying itself. You said it yourself. I gave birth to her. I won't let her die now. Laura. I know you're scared, but it's your daughter we're talking about. I know. I, I just... Shit. The temple. Your choice. Are you coming with me to save her? Someone hit enter. Uh, hang on a second. Let me adjust my headphones and scratch my ear. Okay. I... Yeah. I'm coming. Give me your hand. Thanks. Let's go. We leave and save our daughter now. Our daughter. <laughs> it's so weird now that you say it. Get used to it. You think we're gonna make it? <laughs> I'm sure we are. And she's going to adore you. You'll see. But she might not understand who I am, though. Oh, don't worry about that. She already knows a bunch of stuff about you. <laughs> what? You told her about me? Yeah. She loves it when I tell her about our adventures. June? Mom? Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm good. It doesn't hurt everywhere anymore. Oh, that's great, sugar. Who's he? It's your daddy. Hi, June. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she couldn't wait to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. Can you tell me a story? Oh, uh, well, I, uh... June. Daddy can tell you a story when we get home, okay? Yeah! Since the transhumanist laboratories announced that ingesting a human pericardium resulted in immunization to diseases and no aging, the price of pericardiectomy has rocketed from $30,000 to $500,000. As a result of the sharp increase in the prices, many murders with heart removal have been registered around the world. Our reporter, Fanny Bernerot, is joining us from the place where one of these gruesome murders occurred. Fanny, here is where a whole family was murdered, right? Yes. I'm currently in front of the house owned by the Richards, a whole family killed by their neighbor during the night. This killing is just one of the many that are currently listed in the city of... The Senate met today in a crisis unit, following the increasing murder rate in the country. This cannot go on. After speaking to all the secretaries of state, the president will announce a national state of urgency tomorrow as well as the deployment of the army to restore calm in our cities. From this day onwards, it is prohibited to leave your house unless you are specifically invited to by an army soldier. Whoever is outside their home without being escorted by the army will be shot down without any warning. Unfortunately, our neighboring countries did not have time to take similar measures, resulting in civil disobedience. I will not allow it. My dear fellow citizens, we are at war, and only compliance with these rules can make us win collectively. I will give a new speech to keep you informed of further developments. Look after yourselves and your loved ones. Thank you for playing Lost and in Minus, so I'm, developed you, with passion by the member of Incident I'm gonna hit Alt F4. Noir. Audacity. Alright, so that's, that's the game. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I, I didn't think it would be as cool, um, but the sound design is quite good. The story is decent, although there's parts of it that don't make sense. Uh, but I do like the endings because, obviously, it's the classic trope of do you save the few at the expense of the many or save the, the many at the expense of the few? And honestly, considering what uh, what that girl did, I'm leaning towards the idea of just... <laughs> I'm glad she died. She was a bitch. She was manipulative. Uh, just bad in general. And yeah. <laughs> so that is Lost in Blindness. I think it's pretty good. I, th I think it was worth the money I paid for it. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and if you have any questions, comments, things like that, obviously you leave them in the comments, and maybe we'll get another discussion going like we are currently having with the first video, <laughs> which is quite amusing. Um, yeah, so I do, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Take care. <laughs>